Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kenzie. If you did not know that, then now you know and you guys today we have an unboxing. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello, I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kenzie. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot. Today we do have an unboxing. If any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask you to consider clicking the subscribe button to give this video a like and ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, without any further ado, let's get on into the video. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. So yes, as you can see here, I do have an unboxing. This is a bag from Fendi. This will be my first ever Fendi handbag. Let me just go into like a tiny little backstory. I swear I won't keep you here for very long. Um, I do know that the unboxings have kind of been a little excessive uh, on the channel as of late. The reason why is because I sold two handbags. I had sold my Lady Dior, as you guys probably already know, but the bag that I purchased from selling my lady dior is taking literally forever to arrive so i was already in the process of selling my medium green chanel classic flap so that one also sold so i went ahead i had a couple bags kind of on my radar on my wish list that i wanted to pick up so i sold my green chanel classic flap and i was like oh my god well since that's sold let me go ahead and buy this other bag that i was really interested in that's why i'm not over here spending a million dollars buying handbags i did sell two of my bags it's kind of like one in one out kind of situation but i'm so excited because i've never owned a fendi bag before here is what it looks like i have looked at it this is not like a blind unboxing but i haven't really taken it out like i have but not really like i took it off for like a tiny bit just to make sure that everything was good and then i put it back into the box so i haven't really looked at it for very long so it will be kind of like a blind unboxing almost but here is what she looks like. It came so nicely packaged. It came in a big box and then inside the big box was this. It came with a bag and a box. Like that's so nice. And it has this Fendi ribbon right here. You can't see that, but it is a Fendi ribbon. This bag, I do believe recently just came out like a month ago or so. It's such a nice bag. Oh my God. And I didn't know it existed, but I was actually watching a another YouTuber called Maggie. Um, her channel is Maggie X Chew. I love her channel. I watch her all the time. And she does these like get ready with me's where she talks about new handbags that are, that are coming out. And she literally mentioned this Fendi bag. And I was like, oh my God, I had no idea they were coming out with more colors of this. So I immediately went to the website and I kind of saved it. And I was like, okay, let me just... Once I sell my medium classic flap, then I will go back and buy this because I loved it so much. Here is what the box looks like. A very hard, sturdy Fendi box. And if you can see, I always thought the Fendi boxes were just straight up yellow. They're not. They have like a tiny little pattern. If you can see, it almost looks like wood. It's kind of got lines going through it. You can already see the crossbody strap. I do have a couple of like Fendi things. Oh yeah, this is just the receipt. Oh yeah. And then I wrote myself like a gift message. And it says, your new favorite bag. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. So maybe that's why they did all the extra stuff because I did ask for gift wrapping. And here's the box. And leave a comment down below right now what you think that this could be. Beat. Well, you probably can already tell by the shape of the bag, <laughs> but still leave a comment telling me what color you think it is, what material you think it is, and then you can comment again letting me know if you were correct. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's so beautiful so this is of course the fendi baguette bag she still has like the plastic and everything on her it's the fendi baguette bag it's in the medium size it's like the regular size but this is in the multicolored you know you've seen the multicolored fendi baguette the one that's like rainbow kind of that everybody wanted to get last year it came out with new colors they had two new colors and this was one of them, and this one just caught my eye 
so quickly. I really like the way this looked. And it's beige, as you can see. So it's like a beige color back here. And then you've got all these different colors like black and gray and brown. This one right here is like a very light baby pink color. It's got like a lighter brown. It's very neutral, but it's also quite cool toned. And then on the strap right here, it does say Fendi on the little clasp. Clasp? Yeah, it is a clasp. And then you have, of course, the Fendi logo buckle on the front. And then when you open it, it looks like this. It's a fabric lining and it's currently stuffed in there. I will take that out when I show you what fits inside, but for right now it's currently stuffed in there. And it's just like a snap, like a magnetic button closure situation. Oh my God, guys, this is gonna be such a beautiful bag for fall. I'm so excited. I really have wanted a Fendi baguette for a very long time. At the very beginning of the year, I did like a my wish list video and a Fendi baguette was in that video. It was a different color. Like it was in the leather that I initially wanted it in and it was in like this turquoise kind of bluey color. But then I was just like, oh my God, am I really gonna wear a turquoise bluey bag? Which I'm actually glad that I didn't get it because the bag that I purchased from Selling My Lady Dior is very colorful and I didn't want too many colored bags. I'm glad I didn't get that one and I waited around for this one to come out. I didn't even know it was going to come out, <laughs> but I'm glad that I waited and I got this one and I am absolutely obsessed with it. I love it so much. It is quite stiff, like the shoulder strap is quite stiff and I'm wearing this sweater right now, so it is like a, a very short shoulder strap. So you can, of course, attach the crossbody strap to it and wear it on your shoulder that way. But I don't mind putting it here and then kind of like flipping it to the back like that. I don't mind doing that. What do you think? Do we like, do we like? Let me show you what she looks like with the crossbody strap. And of course you can take off the, the top handle strap. It is removable but it's not adjustable sadly so you this is this is what you got which is okay for me i don't mind too much and then also here is the crossbody strap it's in this like beautiful kind of gray taupe taupey brown color but that's what it looks like and of course the clasps also say fendi and you have two sets of d-rings you have this one at the top right here that the top handle strap attaches to and then you have this one right here that the crossbody strap attaches to so that the crossbody strap does not interfere with the top handle strap when you use it and there you go there's that's what she looks like with the crossbody strap it does have like a 15 inch strap drop with the crossbody strap the strap drop with the top handle is like seven inches i would say i'll give you full dimensions of the bag give me one second this is the other one that they currently have it's definitely more colorful Everything's in centimeters, so I will try to convert. It is 15 centimeters high. It is 27 centimeters long, and it is six centimeters in depth here. For inches, it is about 10 and a half inches long, five inches high, and about two inches in depth. This is going to be such a pretty, fall winter handbag i think it's going to be stunning i also think that you could maybe wear this bag in spring as well maybe not summer but it does have this really cute like light pink color so it does have a lot of light colors as well so maybe you could also wear this in the spring but i do think this is definitely more of a fall winter bag and of course you can wear it shoulder top handle like this you can put it on the crook of your arm or depending on what you're wearing you can of course put it on your shoulder i am wearing a very big bulky sweater of course i am while i'm filming this video so it is quite hard to get on my shoulder right now and then you have the crossbody strap here that you can wear the bag crossbody it is a quite high crossbody 
bag if you can see this i typically like my bags to be quite high when it comes to the crossbody but i know a lot of people would think this is way too high um to be a crossbody bag but i quite like it it, it even works well with this sweater that i have on it's kind of in like fanny pack territory but i think it works well and i don't think you'll get as much color transfer the bag is not meant to be super long and like dangling around your jeans uh, which i think would cause a lot more color transfer so i do foresee myself needing to be very careful with this bag because it is embroidered so everything is stitched on so like i have to be very careful with my rings especially this one right here this one snags everything so i have to be very very careful with it but i think i can manage i have had my lambskin classic flap for uh, quite a while and i haven't damaged it so fingers crossed i won't damage this one but let's go into what fits in this bag she is a medium sized handbag so she definitely does fit quite a lot of stuff i'm gonna take the shoulder strap off for now so going into this bag we'll take the stuffing out and then as you can see right here, it does have one zip pocket at the back and then it has a plaque. You're probably not gonna be able to see it, but it says Fendi made in Italy. Yep, it says Baguette Fendi made in Italy. Oh, what's in here? I don't really ever use these zipper pockets. Oh, it's like a card. Oh, okay. Like an authenticity card kind of thing. Cool, 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 cool. So I never use zip pockets in the backs of bags, really. I pretty much only use the like the first middle compartment, but I'll keep those in there just in case. Okay, so this is what she looks like on the inside. And as you can see, she is quite spacious. So I have my mini push it SSR. I love being able to take this around with me. So whenever I am able to fit this into a bag, I get very, very excited. Inside my mini pochette, I have some lip products. These are just lip balms. I have a little travel mirror in case I need to do any touch-ups. I have some gum, of course. And I also have a hand sanitizer in case I need that. And then I have my uh, ibuprofen in here in case me or my husband gets a headache. And sometimes I'll swap it out. Sometimes I'll put a tampon in there if I need to. Sometimes I'll put in some like bobby pins or a hair tie, uh, whatever I'm needing at the moment. This can, of course, go in here, no problem. I usually do not put my phone in my bag. So I do have my iPhone 14 Pro Max. It does fit in here if you are worried that it won't fit. If you are somebody that puts their phone in their bag, I do not put my phone in my bag usually. I'm usually always wearing pants with pockets or something like that. So I'm not gonna put my phone in there because I don't need to. Next up, I have of course my wallet that can just kind of go in right on the side right there very easily and then i'll usually put my dior hand cream in front of my wallet and then my airpods of course can go in here and then i got this sunglasses case from amazon i'm gonna put some sunglasses in these are my celine sunglasses the triumph sunglasses i'm just gonna put them in here and then um, I can, of course, fit the sunglasses case in here. And there you go. It just kind of fits in like that. And then I have some other like small miscellaneous things. Like I have a pen, I have another lipstick, a YSL lipstick, and then I have a travel fragrance. So all of that fits in the bag. And as you can see, it's keeping its shape. Okay, listen, this is one thing that I'm so, 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 so happy about. I love a good sh uh, slouchy. I almost said slouchy. <laughs> I love a good slouchy, like hobo bag. I have the teen, like the Bottega Veneta teen Jody, And that bag is very, very slouchy. I love a good slouchy bag at, from time to time. The only reason why I did not get the fabric, the Fendi baguette or the uh, leather baguette is because I noticed pretty much every single video that I watched of someone unboxing it or reviewing it stated that it was a very non-structured bag. It was very flimsy. It didn't have any structure to it. And I'm like kind of half and half on structured bags. Sometimes I like them. Sometimes I prefer a slouchy bag. But this one, I'm so 
glad that when I have my stuff in here, it, it keeps its shape. It does not slouch anywhere. I did still order an organizer from Zimoni just in case, just to have it to preserve the shape of the bag. But yeah, that is what she looks like with all of the stuff in it. And she has a bit of heft to her. She has a bit of weight. She's not like extremely heavy or anything like that, but she does have a little bit of weight. If you are concerned about that, I'd probably just go take a look at it in the Fendi store. Let me tell you right now, let me give you a word of advice when it comes to Fendi. I did not know this and I learned this when I was watching my videos about this bag. Apparently, if you buy a Fendi bag, like if you're on the lookout for a Fendi handbag, if you buy it from the website, you can return it for a full refund within 14 days. If you buy it from the boutique, from the store, you cannot return it. You can only do an exchange or a store credit. You cannot get your money back if you buy it directly from the store. I don't know why. It blows my mind that they're like, oh yeah, if you buy it online, you can get your full refund within 14 days. But if you buy it at the store, then like good luck to you kind of thing. I have no idea why, but I thought that I would address that. In case for some reason you seeing this unboxing made you want to get a Fendi bag. I don't know, but I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, just definitely be aware of that if you are on the lookout for a Fendi handbag in the future. Unless they've changed something, to my knowledge, that's how the return process is. You get your money back within 14 days on the website. You do not get your money back within the boutique. Only exchange or um, store credit. And who the fuck wants like a three or four grand of store credit in one store? I don't know. You guys, that has been my unboxing of my brand new Fendi baguette. I'm so happy to have this bag in my collection. I love her so, so much. Let me know in the comments what you think of this bag. If you like the embroidery, if you like the multicolor, if it's not for you, like just let me know anything in the comments. And also let me know in the comments a bag that you are eyeing, one that's on your radar, or just let me know anything that's on your radar or just leave me a comment down below telling me anything because I'm nosy and I want to know that. But you guys, thank you again for watching this video today. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to. And be sure to ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!